When a horrible tragedy happens, as happened in Orlando, we're called to take action. These are the times for leadership, not for standing silent, not for sitting idly by, not for disengaging. It's a time to engage, to ask what we ought to be doing to fix this problem, to make our country safer. Uh, I've been thinking about, praying about that all week. I've talked to our Kansans across the state, and I've got some ideas about what we ought to do. Number one, it's clear to me we ought to keep guns out of the hands of terrorists. We need to completely revamp our mental health system, and also, we need hate crimes legislation. We need the hate crime statute. Uh, my opponent voted against it. I prosecuted the first hate crimes case in the country under the Shepherd Bird Hate Crimes Act. We need this law, and my opponent should be ashamed that he voted against it because when people commit acts, like the guy committed in Orlando targeting members of the LGBT community, that's wrong. And we need that statute to make sure that those individuals are appropriately punished. We also need to make sure that we empower good guys with guns. I have my concealed carry permit. I'm proud to have worked with law enforcement um, throughout my career. And I think we need to empower law enforcement. We need to empower regular citizens who carry to protect themselves and protect their families. Good guys with guns can protect us from bad guys with guns. And I'll stand up for those rights and for this plan to keep our country safe in the U.S. Senate. You know, this is not hard. And I'm tired of a politics where people are divided into one camp or the other. And, and with every tragedy, you end up in a shouting match with both sides reading their talking points. The bottom line is we have threats in Arkansas, threats in our country. I know those threats because I worked on cases such as this. We have to do something about it. We have to be strong on national security. We have to be strong on the Second Amendment. We have to be strong in protecting ourselves and our families, and we also have to be smart. These proposals are strong and they're smart, and it's what we need to do as a country.